Hello? Hello? All right, so today we're down here. We're in Andy's place. We're at the aquarium shop here in Juno, Jupiter area. And I need the, this, I got a problem, okay? So we got these these stupid starfish, all right? We got these, these little tiny starfish and they're eating everything. They do okay with algae, like they help with that. But the biggest problem is that they could eat my coral and we don't want them to eat the coral. So I need to get this alien looking shrimp. It's called Harlequin shrimp or Harley Quinn shrimp. I don't know how to say it. One of those two. We need to get one of them suckers and it's gonna go through and eat all those stupid little tiny starfish. So I called Andy yesterday or two days ago. He was getting a shipment in yesterday. So then now I'm here today. So I'm hoping he still has some. I did not call ahead. Probably should have done that before I drove like 30 minutes, but yeah, anyway, what are you gonna do? So we're here, I need that. I may get another goby uh, just because I want a um, little help cleaning the sand along with our current goby. It's just an adventure when we come to Andy's. Might see something cool, might see something that we don't like. You never know. So let's run inside here and let's pick up our one, our cool shrimp, and then two, our mystery items. Okay, let's go. Well, went inside Andy's. He didn't have anything for me, so I did end up driving myself down here for a bunch of nothing. But I called around and, well, got a bunch of nothing. Hi, this is Mark Sorry, Gabby speaking. How may I help you? Hi, do you guys have any harlequin shrimp? Harlequin shrimp? Um, not in stock at the moment. We just got our saltwater shipment and we didn't get any of those today. Hey, do you guys have any harlequin shrimp? No, not right now. So then I figured, well, Maybe let's chalk this up as a loss for today. And then, uh, well, alrighty. So I just got off the phone for like the fifth time and I found one shrimp. And of course it's at the store that is 20 minutes from my house. Well, actually not, not even like 10 miles from my house. So it takes like 15 minutes to get there with the traffic and all that, literally right down the street. So I literally went all the way down to Andy's for, well, one, he didn't have any, which was unfortunate, which I'd rather buy from Andy personally. Cause I know where his stuff comes from and I respect uh, the way he treats his fish. This place, not a huge fan of them, so I'm not going to film inside there, but we're going to run inside and we're going to get the fish. So that, that kind of sucks, but what can you do? We found one, so that's great. So now we got to go pick that sucker up. All right, can I get two McDoubles with no pickle and a McChicken and then a large Powerade? What's going on, boys? Had a little halfway drive back uh, snack we got to take care of here. Who's that handsome young fellow looking at? I probably bought him. All right, let's go pick up that shrimp. <laughs> we secured our shrimp. We got our shrimp. He's in this bag right here. Let me see if I can give you guys a little sneak peek. Oh my goodness, he's so weird looking. All right, we're gonna get him home. Get him, uh, well, he's gotta be drip acclimated. And then from the drip acclimation, I will put him into a specimen container it's for you guys to see. I'm gonna have to make sure everything is fed really, really good. I have to get my sand sifter star out of the tank, uh, out of the main display and put him into the sump uh, so I can use him as a, uh, well, he's gonna clean the sump up for sure, but I don't want him to get eaten by this guy. So instead, we're just going to use him as a sump cleaner and then everything else will hang out in the main display. One thing I do gotta make sure is the fish are very, very fed. Otherwise he will, or he would probably get eaten if I don't be super careful. Uh, I may have to just keep him in a net and kind of fluff him into the, uh, like into the rocks more or less. We'll have to just make sure he gets in the rocks and is hidden uh, and then get super acclimated with everybody before anyone tries to pick on him. Mainly I'm worried about the, the bird nose, not necessarily the triggerfish. Triggerfish never really bothered with anything like that. Uh, so we just gotta make sure they're really, really fed before releasing him into the tank. So let's get back there, get the starfish out of the main display, feed them a whole bunch, get him acclimated, and then release him in with the rest of the animals. All right, everybody, we made it home. We got the tank, everything's looking good. All the fish are happy and healthy. Uh, this, this guy right here is gonna be really friendly. This guy right here, we're not too sure. We're gonna find out, but I did add a little, like an orange, yellow, green mushroom, along with whatever that thing is, uh, since you guys have last seen the tank. Uh, this guy here has now spread himself all over the tank. Uh, a bunch right there, none in the middle section, and then a few more pieces are over here. So eventually, once it gets too much, then we will go in there, pluck some of them out. But if they're doing well, then I'm just gonna let them kind of just throw his arms everywhere, whatever you wanna call it. But we have our shrimp over here. Let me show you guys him. Look at that wild looking creature. Like it's like a outer space thing. I don't know. Let me uh, go ahead and pick up his bucket here. So we're just gonna start drip acclimating him right there. We have our hose here. And then this will be the specimen container we'll put him in once he's all 
acclimated and then let's go ahead and actually get this drip acclimation started and pull out Mr. Starfish who's right there. All right, Mr. Starfish. So we're gonna take them. We're just gonna set them right in here. Boom, there he goes. Mr. Starfish, he's in there. So he's gonna do his thing. We got this right here, drip acclimating, as you can see. It's got a very, very slow drip because invertebrates, for some reason, take a longer than usual time to acclimate. So we have our food right here, actually. Here we go, here's our food. We got some mysis shrimp in here. Need my step water because I made this tank too damn big. And uh, look, look who's ready, Mr. Blue Guy. Oh yeah, Mr. Bird knows. Everyone's excited. I do that. Give them two big piles to chew from. Oh, go get you some, Goby. Go get it. Yeah, yeah. Go get you some. Yeah, look at that. Everyone's getting it. Oh, blowing up on it. All right. So we'll make sure they're fed. Uh, they clearly have plenty. But just me standing here, and it's daytime, so these starfish should be hidden. Oh, look at this. There's one right there that he's going to eat. There's one up there on that pipe that he's going to eat. Uh, let's see where else, if we can just eyeball some. There's one right here, uh, right there in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, sometimes one sits in these little zellas there. And I don't want that because I don't want them to eat my coral. But literally just right here, me standing, I picked out three in like just a second. Oh, there's another one right there. Yep, right there. Boom. Got them. Uh, they're literally everywhere. So hopefully... This is gonna work and he can eat all of those in a few days. But I did also learn that if I do wanna keep him alive, that we're going to have to feed him one, like basically one chunk or starfish leg every week. So if I really wanted to, uh, it doesn't hurt the starfish, but I can use my sand sifter, cut a leg off of him. He will regrow it obviously. And then I can feed this new shrimp the leg of the starfish. So that starfish will always be alive, always be healthy, eating all of this detritus, I believe is how it's pronounced, down in the sump, along with feeding everything up here. So it's the way of life, I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to use starfish to sacrifice to then feed other fish, but I'm not sacrificing. It all makes sense in the life circle. So we're gonna make sure he is acclimated properly. Uh, all these guys are already fed. Look at that, they already ate all of that food. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna have to defrost another cube, feed them one more time, make sure everything is good with Mr. Shrimp down there. Acclimation is perfect, and we will release him into the tank. Alrighty, everybody. Look at our little buddy here. Let's take him, uh, I can put him right here on this glass table. You guys can really see what this guy looks like. Literally something out of like a movie. Like it doesn't look real. I don't understand. That thing is literally a deep sea alien creature. I have no idea what that thing even looks like. It just, they're really pretty. It's got the blue legs, like everything about it is just so different, but let's get him into the tank. Hopefully nobody messes with him. Uh, I just fed the fish one last time. Maybe I will feed them a little bit more uh, and then put him in the net that I have and uh, kind of shoo him into a rock or something like that. And then he can make his way around the tank as he pleases, but I don't want to introduce him and then everything go wrong right out the gate. So. Let's get him introduced properly without anyone dying. All right, pour them in a little bit at a time here. Trying to get this to dissolve as fast as I can. Keep them as distracted as possible over here on this side of the tank. And then put Mr. Shrimp in over on that side. So as you can see, everyone's over here eating away. Do one last little swish around. All right, now we go, go, go. Let's put him in the water all the way. Oh, 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 okay, maybe we won't do that. Oh, no, I made a spill. Oh, there you go, buddy. Oh, he went flying into the back. I don't know if you, know if you guys saw that. I hardly saw it. Where'd he go? What? He went back in that deep, dark hole. Oh, <laughs> he went in a dark hole, he liked that. That was sick. Um, okay, I'm not too sure what to do now. I really wanted to show you guys him in the tank, but he's just, like, where'd he go? I have no clue. He's back behind this area right here. So hopefully he'll come out at some point, but we're just gonna let him rest, I guess. I gotta clean up my mess that I just made. This is, this is a whole, this is a disaster. We're gonna let him get relaxed settle down a little bit, get used to everyone else that's in the tank here. Uh, hopefully he'll climb his way up here and come on out and he'll be uh, 
a happy shrimp and he'll eat all sorts of different stuff in here. So we're gonna let him relax and I will pick up the camera once he's comfortable. Oh, oh, I just came home, boys. Look at that. He's out. He didn't get smoked by Blue Jimmy. Uh-oh, they might think it's time to wake up. We probably should turn the light out. I just want to give you guys an update real quick. Hey, how you guys going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? nice little, what do you think of him? He's cool, huh? He's pretty cool. You serious? I just want to let you guys know that he's still living and this stupid coral done shot a piece off again. Now it's stuck to the glass. All right, buddy, go eat them starfish. You have fun. Look at them all. Boom, 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 boom. That's just right here. Boom, 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 boom. They're everywhere. So, no, go back to sleep. Don't eat them. All right. All right, buddy, we'll leave you alone.